I'm going to watch Beyonce Sharma Jayegi from Kali Peely. I really thought the trailer was going to come out before the song. So I found out about this maybe about like five days ago. So I really want to watch this. And actually I found out two other songs released. So I would like to react to them. The thumbnails look interesting, but I don't know if people care. Okay. So it's not worth it to react to something when people don't really care about it. But I really do want to check this one out at least. And play. Who's in it then? They took the dance with some Dil Nadia. Dil Nadia. Who's in this circus? Hey, Sean, I didn't know you had that underneath that shirt. <laughs> Okay. I like that move too. I like the hook step. I didn't know he was this good of a dancer. Hey! 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 I like him doing a whole good job, but when he when he dances, he has an it factor. She looks like any other girl could do what she's doing. You get what I'm saying? But she's doing a good job. Oh, this is cool. Beyonce Sharma Jaegi. They want to tonight, but that's cool. Song. I heard dance beats. <laughs> That's all I heard. It had it had singing at certain point, but the singing to me was the most boring parts about it. So I really would have to listen to it on its own because I mean I was more taken by the visuals, honestly, and the dance. So I don't think the song is that great, but it's pretty entertaining for a movie. It's a really cool video. I like the sleds. I like the costumes. I like that the backup dancers are doing cool stuff in the back. As I told you, Ishan Qatar I feel like he has an it factor. He has something in which I look forward to seeing more of him. We'll see. Ananya Pande, I feel the same way about her. I honestly feel like Ananya Pande could be, could be replaced by anybody. So far, and what I saw in this, she could have been replaced by, by somebody else. They could have given the same performance that she gave us in this. But again, everyone is not a dancer. She's not really an actress either, but still. Ishan Katar brought out the best in that choreography. He made it look really good. Yeah, he really did. He's a good dancer. I didn't know he was this good. And then I really did like the hook step too. Alright, somebody told me there's some kind of scandal about the lyrics. Anyway, I'm going to just the lyrics. I don't want to read someone's commentary because they're going to be biased. Let me see what I feel about these lyrics and tell you if they're bad. When you shake your teasing, luring, shiny, flexible waist, looking at you, oh girl, Beyonce will feel shy or a bosh. Okay, what's wrong with that? I'm, I'm reading. I'm trying to look for the insults. I'm really looking for the insults. I'm, I'm looking for a reason to be upset right now. Don't worry, I'm, I'm looking for it. Why am I supposed to be upset with this song? Y'all let me know. I'm not even trying to be rude or tra be obtuse. I'm not trying to be ignorant. I don't understand why I'm supposed to be upset with this song. The song is bad. The song is tacky. The song is guilty pleasure. Call it that if you want to. I don't feel like the song is controversial in any set, sort of way. They use Beyonce because Beyonce is Beyonce. Hi, this is me from the future. I did a little bit more research to find out why people were angry with the lyrics and it seems that the translation that I read did not include the word shy or goria. So it seems people are mad because it says after looking at you fair woman, Beyonce would feel shy. But I feel as if people are taking that a bit out of context because in the lyrics that I read, even if you add in the term fear, you have to start from the line above. It's saying, when you shake your teasing, luring, shiny, flexible waist, looking at you, oh girl, Beyonce would feel shy. So it's basically saying, the way you dance, 
the way you move your hips or the way you move your waist, looking at you, Beyonce would feel shy. In the chorus, fairness is not the comparison. Fairness is a description of the other girl that is being compared to Beyonce. What is being compared is the way she dances. They're saying she is a better dancer than Beyonce. This song is complimenting Beyonce in the highest form, saying that she is such an amazing dancer that even the way you dance, Beyonce would feel shy. Bollywood loves to incorporate the word fairness within any song. Bollywood is obsessed with fairness. They love fairness. So I'm not even surprised to see the word fairness in the song. They could change it to another girl and it wouldn't change what they meant. It wouldn't change the meaning or the intent. They could have said, looking at you, oh fair girl, Nora Fateh, you would feel shy. They could have said, looking at you, dusky beauty, Beyonce would feel shy. That is the way they meant that line. Like I said, I think Bollywood loves to use the word fear. Because they could have used any other word. They could have said, looking at you, or enchantress. They could have said, looking at you, or chamakello. Beyonce would feel shy. I don't think it's meant to be racist. Now, was it the best use of the word? Not really. I mean, if I saw the lyrics before it came out, I would say, no, no, no. People are going to read into this the wrong way. I feel like people are reading into this the wrong way. That is just my opinion. I think if you really want to judge it fairly, you cannot start from... Looking at you or fear girl, Beyonce will feel shy because you yourself are not judging it fairly. You have to start it from the line above. Like I said, to me, this is not a conversation about racism in terms of Beyonce. It's more about colorism within India. Even recently, I was thinking to myself, why there's so many songs about a girl with fear complexion, but yet they're not songs about a girl with a weedish complexion or a darker complexion because India is full of so many different skin tones. But the epitome of beauty is fairness. If you want to say that a girl is beautiful, she's fair. But like I said, I don't think it has to do in regards to Beyonce. I think it has to do in regards to the Indian perspective of beauty. Why is it that I don't read songs talking about a girl's darker complexion, but I will always read songs of talking about a girl's lighter complexion. In the chorus, they're pretty much praising Beyonce, not insulting Beyonce. They said, okay, when you do what you do, even Beyonce will be a boss. Even Beyonce will feel shy, like, oh my gosh, I, com I can't compete with her. That's what they're saying. They're talking about talent. They're talking about dance. And reading those lyrics, I'm more upset at the fact that at, in terms of this whole video, I know this. It's Shanka Tarr, then I most know this Ananya Pandey. Is Beyonce supposed to feel shy being around Ananya Pandey? Is Beyonce supposed to feel less than because of Ananya Pandey? Because of the way she shakes her hips? Because of the way she dances? That's the controversy right there, that she didn't live up to those lyrics. It's not bad. I feel like people, I could see if it wasn't for this coronavirus, I could see people performing to this song and me hating from the crowd. Because of the song, not because of the lyrics. All right, bye.